plan on moving out anytime soon if you don't plan on getting a second wardrobe work with what you have you have to purge your closet the reason why i'm saying this is because it is very depressing to take a look at your wardrobe and all you see is a mess it, it makes you feel like they always say when you feel depressed when you feel like you're lost clean your house clean your closet because it will actually help you clean your mind clear your mind when you see everything clear around you hey guys My name is Marinelle, I'm a fashion stylist and welcome or welcome back to a stylist tips and tricks. On this platform, we're all about sharing fashion tips, fashion tricks. If you are new here, go then watch the previous videos, go listen to our amazing fashion tips, fashion tricks, go read the comments to hear about other people's fashion tips or fashion tricks. I'm sure you ain't got nothing to do. I'm sure you're probably watching this on a Friday or a Saturday. You ain't got no work tomorrow. Just go have some fun. Go watch the previous video. Go interact with us get to know us a little bit after watching this video of course because today today y'all I, I I'm actually going to make you guys work a little bit the f did you just say oh hell no get your ass. just a little bit it's gonna be fun work though it's gonna be some fun fun work we're just gonna have some fun together I would love for you but before I say this if you're new here, or I don't know when you're watching this, I don't know when you're watching this video, 2020 has been, a, has been a mess. The entire year has been a whole mess. I'm sure while you were at home, you had time to work on a side hustle, um, learn a new skill. It can be a new language, it can be um, any other skill that you want. Also, spend time with your family. And I'm also sure that you had time to actually declutter your house right and if you declutter your house it actually also means that you had time to declutter your closet right no ma'am no ma'am no ma'am no ma'am no man it's okay we're gonna get to do this together today this is the point of this video i would love to talk about closet cleaning closet detox closet purging however you want to call it i would love for us to work on that today together get your ass up from the sofa get your ass up from the bed get your ass up from the chair if you're in the kitchen cooking something right now that's fine finish your meal but after that go in your wardrobe go in your closet and let's let's do this together let's have some fun we're gonna play today ditch it or keep it you're gonna take a look at every item in your wardrobe and you're gonna get to decide if you actually want to ditch it or if you actually want to keep it if you choose to ditch it is it good or instead of throwing it in a trash can should you maybe donate it or gift it or is it a lost cause there is nothing that can be done and you want to trash it we're also going to talk about that in this video so yeah let's have some fun before we start playing at ditch it or keep it i would love to First, mention a few signs that are revealing, that are telling you that you actually need a closet detox. If when you look at your wardrobe, you see, all you see is a mess. It is very unflattering. You have too many items. It is like a jungle. Please purge your closet. If you can barely see an inch of the wall or an inch of the floor because you have too many shoes, you know what to do, purge your closet. If when you are looking for one item, you feel like, you are at the gym because you, you work in your arms, working your biceps, your triceps because you have to push something to the, you have to push a bunch of clothing to the right, you have to push a bunch of clothing to the left, it is exhausting, you have too many items, purge your closet. Or if you, if your clothes are inside a drawer, they are folded inside a drawer, they are supposed to be folded inside a drawer but they are not because they are piled up on top of each other you can barely close a drawer you can barely open a drawer or if let's say the clothes are hanging over a rod because you have too many items um purge your closet okay it might also mean that your wardrobe is too small and it's okay your closet might be too small and you do have a lot of items and you feel like you need all of those items let's say the drawer are overflowing or let's say the clothes are hanging over a rod or let's say you don't have enough space to put your to 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 put your shoes to lay your shoes or to display your shoes or let's say also that 
everything is piled up on top of each other. You have to put shoes on top of each other, or you have to put small bag inside lid, um, um, small bag inside big bag. Yes, it might mean, mean that the issue is your closet is too small. I get it. But if you don't plan on moving out anytime soon, if you don't plan on getting a second wardrobe, work with what you have. You have to purge your closet. The reason why I'm saying this is because it is very depressing to take a look at your wardrobe and all you see is a mess it, it makes you feel like they always say when you feel depressed when you feel like you are lost clean your house clean your closet because it will actually help you clean your mind clear your mind when you see everything clear around you clear your closet you need a closet detox please work with what you have this is your wardrobe for now Unless you plan on moving very very soon or if you don't want to get rid of those items, that's fine Place them in a box or place them somewhere until you actually get a bigger wardrobe and you can go back to displaying all those items But for now, please purge your closet If there is a strange odor in your closet, if you are trying to become more minimalist your your priorities are changing your priorities in life are changing and the clothing that you have right now they don't represent the new you or the person that you want to become it is time for a closet detox it is time for us to stop playing at ditch it or keep it so let's let's just get to it for doing the closet detox please make sure that you get a few trash bags the reason why is because we're gonna separate the clothes in piles and I don't want you to do this in one day because it's gonna get exhausting it will be tiring therefore you might do it on a Saturday and then get back to the rest on Sunday or you might let's say um, do it a Saturday and then after that continue next Saturday so get put just put the clothing in a trash bag so that they're not bothering you also if you are living with a significant other if you are sharing your room with a brother or sister or if you're sharing your room with your parents yes there are some people who are sharing rooms with their parents. Thank God I ain't one of them. Out of respect for them, don't just lay the clothes everywhere. Put them in trash bag if you do plan on getting back to it later, if you don't plan on doing it one day. Also, you put yourself in a mood <laughs> make sure that you get a glass of wine a glass of champagne um, if you are 18 or uh, under 18 or 21 or whatever the legal age is wherever you're located maybe get your glass of your favorite hell you know what even if you're under 18 or 21 who's watching you you inside your house just get you a glass of wine get you a glass of champagne as long as you don't go out later in the streets just relax also, I do want you to take a look at this entire video first, um, listen to everything that I'm saying, listen to the explanation to each and every questions, and then I want you to click the link in the description below in order for you to have access to a PDF document that you can print out or just download so you can check everything or you can do it step by step. That will allow you to put your favorite music on while you are doing it so you can just be happy so you can dance so you can have fun so you're not bored so you're not exhausted so you're not tired also i do believe that you're not gonna do it for every clothing like every clothing you replay my video you replay my video just know listen to this entire video first and then down click on the link in the description below and you can just download it and then do it in one stop in, in just one shot the first question that i want you to ask yourself is have you worn this in the past 12 months now why i say 12 months because i know there are student blogs or website that say six months why i say 12 months is because if you live in a country like me canada we have winters that are brutal winters and all we can wear is our winter clothes we have summer summer it's extremely hot and all we can wear is our summer clothes we also have spring we also have autumn because of all those season all those weather changes they only come once a year so that's why I say 12 months because there are clothing that you haven't worn in the past six months and it's totally normal so you need to think about that in order to take your decision if you live in a country like me or even if you don't 12 months is a good indicator according to me so if the answer is yes you put in the yes part if the answer is no is maybe I'm sorry you put it in the maybe part now the answer might be no but I still want you to put in the maybe part and we're gonna explain later 
work to do with that maybe pie. The next question is, are you actually interested in wearing this again? Now for this question, I want you to think about, is it trendy? Um, does it remind you of a bad moment in your life? Is it attached to a bad memory? Maybe it was a gift from an ex-boyfriend, from an ex-husband or a parent, um, or from, I'm, I'm sorry, a family member, let's say, that you no longer talk to, a friend that you no longer talk to that has betrayed you. Um, it could be because it no longer fit your silhouette, it doesn't embrace all your curves, let's say, or maybe because it doesn't put you in a good mood, it doesn't make you happy, it doesn't make you feel confident, let's say. Whatever it is, you said yes to the fact that you had worn it in the past 12 months, but do you plan on wearing it again next winter, next summer, next autumn, next spring? Do you have to decide yes or no? But no, like I said, is the maybe part. If you were to buy this again right now, right at this moment, will you? Maybe it was something that you bought impulsively, you were hanging out with your friends, they all bought the, that specific item and you felt like you wanted to buy it too, and that is your fault because you could have invested that money in something else, I'm just saying. If you were to buy this right now, will you? Yes, maybe, or no, but again, no is the maybe pie. Also, ask yourself, do you have the opportunity to wear it in a near future? And by a near future, I want you to think up to one year. Why? It's because if you have to keep it for more than one year, it just it is taking too much space. It is taking too much space in your wardrobe. It might be a dress that you bought for a wedding, let's say. I understand that you know you people don't usually have weddings like every year so you might not get an opportunity to wear it actually up to one year but you have time to buy another wedding dress you do have the time to do it go sell that dress on Poshmark on eBay on Kijiji whatever or go give that dress to somebody else who actually have a wedding coming up in the near future go donate it and Actually buy something else and also styles change every year. So when a new an another wedding is gonna Come up. You might not even want to wear it. Is it an Halloween costume? Is it a Christmas costume? Let's say you are you went to a Christmas uh, to a party for Christmas like are you gonna wear it in the near future and by the near future I mean up to one year also keep in mind are you actually working on losing weight are you actually at the gym right now trying to be more fit all those things are things that you need to think about if when you're deciding yes or maybe when it comes to if you're actually going to wear this in a near future also does it represent the person that you are trying to become, the new you, the person that you want to be in the future? Let's say that you're fresh out of college, you just got your degree and you got a new job and you want your wardrobe to have more work outfit and your wardrobe is filled with a bunch of college things that you actually want to hold on to because you have so many great memories attached to it, but no. You don't have that, that you don't have that much space in your wardrobe. So no, just declutter your wardrobe because it doesn't represent the person that you want to become in a near future. The next thing is does it fit? Now this is the part where you guys are actually gonna hate me. This is the one where you guys are actually gonna be I ain't doing it. I'm I'm gonna be tired, I'm gonna be exhausted. There is no way I'm doing this. I want you guys to actually put it on you. Why? I don't want you guys to just look in the mirror and be like, okay, do I like it? Do I don't like it? I actually want you guys to put it on you and to decide, is there any rolls on my back? Um, does it? Can I sit down? Can I stand up? Are those shoes uncomfortable? First of all, if they're uncomfortable and you bought it, you should have feel like it was going to be uncomfortable for a very long time or forever. I'm just saying. Um, just think about it. Can I still... Can 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 I still zip the clothing up and down? Just actually put it on you and think about all the stuff. If there are some items that actually you cannot decide, you feel like uh maybe I am not sure. That's fine. Put it in a corner for now. And when you have family or friends that are available, call your significant other in the room. Call your brother. Call your sister. Um, it can be your parents if you want to, your mother if you're very close with your mother or father, or FaceTime your friend. 
FaceTime your friend and put it on you, especially your significant other, honey. Put it on you and model the clothing, you know, just make him look around and grade that outfit from 0 to 10. This will help you decide if you want to keep it or if you want to ditch it. Another thing when you are deciding if it fits right now at that present moment when you are trying it, Will, are you, will, will it fit in a near future? What I'm saying is, it might not fit right here right now, but maybe you are working on becoming the old you. Maybe you gain a lot of weight because of pregnancy and you actually plan on losing, losing this weight after pregnancy. So you're going to work out, you're going to eat healthy, do all of those good stuff, and this specific dress will actually fit again. Or maybe you actually lost a lot of weight and you want to gain weight and this clothing will fit in the near future. You need to also think about that. Also, let's say you lost a lot of weight, but the clothing can actually be tailored. So you can actually visit a tailor to find a way for him to make it a little bit more fit or it could be something minor like the leg pant is a little bit too long so you want a good tailor to cut it to fix it for you those are all the questions that you need to ask yourself in order for you to better decide if you should keep it or ditch it or in order for you to decide does it fit at this present moment or will it fit in a near future again a near future up to one year is it damaged is it stained? Is it ripped? Is there a hole? Maybe the color is fading? Is there a missing button? Is the zipper is broken? Whatever it is, is there a damage? If yes, no. Also, is, is it a minor damage maybe? If it is a minor damage, your neck, the next question that you should ask yourself is, can it be fixed? Can you maybe run to Fabricville, which is located in Canada, and buy buttons and then have somebody replace the missing button? Can you visit a tailor to fix the zipper? Can you find someone to remove that stain on that leather boot, leather jacket? Whatever it is, can it be fixed? Now, if you believe that it can be fixed though, please think about if you're ready to invest money in fixing it. You will be surprised on how much it could cost to fix something that you believe is minor, that you believe is like, yo, this, 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 this is like a simple thing, this is a small thing. Why are they asking me that much money to fix it? You might be surprised, honey. You need to think about are you actually going to invest into fixing it as well. Visit a tailor or whatever it is, or ask like, hey, I would love to repair this, but before that, how much money are you going to charge me for this? How much money are you going to charge me for that? If you're somebody who is patient, which is not, which is not my case, please visit multiple tailors to make sure that you get a good price or go on a Facebook group and find somebody who is a student maybe but that is very good at it and say hey how much you're gonna charge me for this or that they might charge you cheaper you need to think about if it's something that you actually want to keep something that means something to you you need to actually maybe fix it so that you can make sure that you can keep it or you can maybe do a little DIY let's say it is a jean and the bottom is kind of stained but you can cut it and turn it into a short maybe it's something that you can do but can it be fixed and are you interested are you interested in investing money in fixing it last question regarding the no and maybe pie does it still have the tags on and you own it for at least 10 months if it's not a wedding dress uh, if it is a wedding dress or a wedding shoes i get it that's normal but if it's not a wedding dress and you still have the tags on and you haven't worn in the past 10 months you ain't gonna worry it anymore you you're actually gonna be tired of seeing it it is not brand new anymore maybe it was something that you bought impulsively but you're not for whatever reason it is you don't wear that outfit when you open your wardrobe maybe you have something similar maybe you have something that is more comfortable for whatever reason it is you own it for the past 10 months you ain't gonna wear it just put it in the maybe pie now that we have two pies, we have the yes pies and the no aka the maybe pies, just go on and take a break. Honestly, I'm tired and I know you're exhausted too. I am exhausted from talking. Let's just move on to something else. We will continue this next week. We'll continue this tomorrow if you want to. Now, if you're not tired, which I don't understand how you're not tired, the link for part two will be in the description below. If it is next week for you, just click on it and continue. But for now, finish the rest of your bottle of wine, finish the rest of your bottle of champagne or whatever drink that you have right now. Put the clothes inside the trash bag, like I said, because you don't want it to bother you while you're doing your stuff during the week or during the day or you don't want to annoy whoever that you're sharing your room with and no 
like this video check out part two subscribe to the channel to be a part of her tribe and for now i will see you guys in the next video